Perhaps you've heard the popular parable about the man stuck on his rooftop during a flood. After he prayed to God for help, a man in a rowboat came to offer to take him to safety. But the stranded man declined the offer by shouting back, No thanks, I believe God will save me. After this, a motorboat came by, but still the man declined to jump in for the same reason. Finally, a helicopter flew in, but again, the stranded man refused to get on board, still holding to his belief that God would save him. As the story goes, the waters continued to rise and the stranded man drowned. When he got to heaven, he complained about the situation to God. I had faith in you, but you didn't save me. Why did you let me down? The man begged to know. To this, God replied, I sent you a rowboat, a motorboat, and a helicopter. What more did you expect? This story provides great insight into the ways God provides for us. Similar to the stranded man, we often expect God to meet our needs in certain ways. If the provision doesn't come in the ways we're expecting, then we're tempted to believe that God didn't uphold His promise. But we must understand that God has more than one way to provide. Yes, for some, provision is made through a well-paying job or some financial favor. For others, though, He provides through other means, such as gifts from believers. I've even experienced God's provision through the blessing of friendship. During my transition into ministry, there was a period when I didn't have health insurance. And this time, at least two situations arose that required emergency attention. Thankfully, years before, the Lord connected me with a physician who became my best friend. In these situations, my friend was kind enough to perform the procedures I needed, which saved me thousands. All throughout the Bible, we see that while God always provides for the needs of His children, He does it in different ways. When His people needed deliverance from captivity in Egypt, God raised up a person, Moses, to bring them out. Through a rock, God provided them with water. And while in the desert, out of thin air, He delivered their food for every morning. What do you need God to provide you today? Is it financial, emotional, physical? Whatever it is, stand on God's Word in Philippians 4.19 that He supplies all your needs according to His riches and glory and according to His methods. Remember that while your provision might come in the most unconventional or unlikely ways, be assured that it is on its way.